Hello, this video is about the Blender add-on Power Slide. We're going to have a look at how Power Slide helps you to quickly select and adjust edge loops. We'll see how Power Slide automatically finds edge loops for you. We'll go through a demonstration of using Power Slide to quickly add supporting edges to complex geometry, and we'll see how Power Slide can be used in vertex mode. There are several ways to use Power Slide. The most simple way is to select one edge then select another edge, go into power slide and drag to adjust the offset of the second edge. You can also select complete edge loops, go into power slide, and drag to adjust, or you can make partial selections and just adjust those. If you select just one edge loop, and go into power slide, it will automatically find the two neighboring edge loops and adjust them both simultaneously. And with partial selections made, if you press tab, power slide will find the complete edge loops for you. And that will also work with the single loop selection mode. That is especially useful if you're working with geometry where it's impossible to find edge loops. Um, for instance, with this cube, if you wanted to find the edge loop going around the top, you have to manually select each side, then select the loop that you want to move, go into power slide and drag. But power slide can actually do this for you. You select one edge on the top loop, one edge on the loop that you want to move, go into power slide, press tab, and it will find the loops for you. You can also do this with multiple selections, press tab, power slide finds all of the edges for you. And you can also type to set the offsets precisely. So let's set it to 0.1, press enter. Uh, power slide will remember that setting and that will be the default setting next time. So if we select these edges on the top, go into power slide, it automatically sets it to 0.1 press tab to find the full loops, press enter, and then do the same again with these loops. Into power slide, press tab, press enter, and we're done. Power slide is all about speed, efficiency, and precision. Let's look at how we'd add some supporting edges to this object. So we'll add our edge loops to the top, the bottom, the inside, and the outside. Now, We'd probably want these supporting edges to be closer to the edges that we're trying to hold. That's something that is really easy to do with Power Slide. Simply select the edges that we want to hold, go into Power Slide. It will immediately grab hold of all the supporting edges and set them to the same offset. We can then slide the mouse to make the adjustment, or we can type a precise figure. So. That looks about right, 0 0.031. So let's put in 0 0.03, press enter, add our subdivision modifier, and it's nice and smooth. If we wanted to adjust it again, we just go back into power slide, and let's put in 0 0.1, enter, and we have our smooth cylinder. Power Slide will really speed up your workflow when you're using complex geometry. Um, I've created this example object, which has got a few challenges for creating uh, supporting edges. We've got um, some off axis faces, we've got some end gons, and we've got this hole cut through the middle. Um, Power Slide is going to make this an absolute breeze for us. Um, so we will start by uh, just hacking some edge loops. Um, around the side, and I do mean hacking, we're just using the knife tool. We don't care about angles or anything, we're just getting through it. Uh, you might think that this off axis cut was going to be the tricky one, um, it, it just isn't at all. Uh, I'll even do it at a really weird angle um, just to show how easily power slide can cope with it for us. Um, we'll sort that one out first because that's the one that would normally be the, the most challenging. Um, We'll select one edge from the outside, one edge from the supporting edge, 
Uh, go into power slide, press tab. Um, we'll bring it down to 0 0.05 and that's it, we're done. Um, you'll notice that power slide has kind of averaged out this edge um, because we want these ones and this one to be exactly the same distance away from their um, outside edges, which means this one needs to be averaged a little bit. Uh, power slide sort of deals with all of that for you. Um, now let's sort out the supporting edges around the side. We'll just get rid of these little um, diagonal edges that we don't need anymore. Um, Blender will not be able to find this edge loop, uh, but Power Slide will. If we just select, select it as best we can, go into Power Slide, press Tab, and we're done. Um, same here, just select a couple of edges into Power Slide, Tab, and done. And same over here. You'll notice I'm, I'm just doing the top because Power Slide is automatically finding the full edge loops and doing the bottom as well. Um, so that's that one done. Uh, we need some control edges around here. Uh, so we'll just select like that, press tab and we're done. Um, this middle bit, um, that's quite easy, but to do the top and bottom of the object, um, that would normally be a bit challenging because we can't complete the edge loop uh, because of the end gons. Um, but it's it's not really a problem for a power slide. All we do is we're going to hack a couple of extra edges in there. Uh, I'll deliberately do this one at like a, a really extreme angle. Um, and then we just select a couple of edges from the top and bottom. Uh, go into power slide, press tab and done. Uh, if you wanted to adjust it, you can just go back into power slide and drag it, but I think we'll keep it like that. Um, then we add our subdiv modifier, and it's perfect. Power slide can also work in vertex mode. You select a control vertex, then the vertex you want to move, go into power slide and drag to adjust the offset. You can select multiple pairs of vertices to make the adjustments simultaneously. And of course, you can select lots of pairs of vertices in whatever order you want to make any kind of shape you can imagine. And then we'll go into power slide and adjust them all simultaneously.